All right, good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for being here today for this very important announcement regarding an issue that has plagued the city of Philadelphia for years. And it's about time that we start to get tough on this issue because it continues to plague our neighborhoods, our communities, our parks and recreation centers, our neighborhood streets. And quite frankly, we're tired of it. And we're going to do something about it. And we're going to address it and not just keep cleaning it up. The city of Philadelphia every year spends tens of millions of dollars over the, la the last decade cleaning up illegally dumped sites that you see behind me throughout the city of Philadelphia. And, but we, it's about time that we stop just cleaning it up and start holding people accountable for the work that's being done in the city of Philadelphia that could be being done, used for other important initiatives. It is tearing apart our neighborhoods and our communities. It is causing issues uh, with our block captains. They constantly work tirelessly to work hard to try to prevent issues like that and keep our city clean. But we have people who disregard our laws, come out here and dump, and then leave the city of Philadelphia like it's their own personal trash can. Well, today we're proud to announce that we're announcing an initiative uh, all over the city that we have that started right here that we are going to try to catch these guys from dumping on our city streets. Uh, through the use of surveillance cameras, the city of Philadelphia is investing in our neighborhoods and our communities to be able to ensure that those people who dump here are held responsible and stiff fines and penalties will be given to those who think that they can come and treat our city like a trash can. Two years ago, uh, our mayor in 2016 created the Zero Waste and Litter Cabinet to address issues of litter, illegal dumping, and how we manage our waste. He's very committed and determined to ensure that our neighborhoods don't continue to have to suffer the problems that you see behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for our mayor, Mayor Jim Kitty. Thank you very much. It's, uh, it's great to be here, but not for this reason. Um, we're trying to mark steady progress on our illegal dumping. Uh, illegal dumping ranks second in the city's resident survey of the most pressing problems facing Philadelphia. Every year it is estimated that illegal dumping costs the city millions in cleanup costs, staff time and equipment. Illegal dumping also neg negatively, in negatively impacts property values, commercial activity and basic quality of life, as well as posing a public health risk. Installing cameras is a key piece of how we are tracking down the people that dump in our neighborhoods on a regular basis. I want to thank the police department for their work in installing these cameras in illegal dumping hotspots and for City Council President Clark's support and efforts in this regard. By monitoring the footage captured on these cameras, we will be able to better prosecute and impose fines on the people who repeatedly dump in our neighborhoods. The administration through the Zero Waste and Litter Cabinet has been working to tackle the illegal dumping issue from all angles and I'm proud to say that we have made a lot of progress in the past year. In addition to ins installation of these cameras, we have also increased illegal dumping fines from $300 to $1,000 for the first offense. Additionally, we have also imposed seizure of vehicles involving, involved in illegal dumping so that we can teach dumpers a lesson to stop and stop this illegal practice in its tracks. We also continue to work closely with the DA's office to increase and streamline illegal, illegal dumping cases in the court system. And finally, I'm proud that we have a formalized environmental crimes unit within the major crimes division of the police department with two detectives dedicated to investigating illegal, illegal dumping across our city. These detectives will help us take action on the evidence that we collect from these cameras to help in dumping investigations. It's important that we tackle the root cause of this problem facing our city, not just pick up what is dumped every week. This includes working with council to pass new legislation. This year we worked with Council President Clark, Councilwoman Sanchez and others, and L and I to require construction and demolition hauler information and disposal receipts on all L and I construction, demolition and alterations permits. Uh, we were, again, we work with Councilman Sanchez, Councilwoman Sanchez and L and I to create a tire dealer business license to improve tire regulation and enforcement. These laws will help us track though, uh, keep track of those who are dumping on Philly so that we can better track and deter this illegal activity. Remember, if you see illegal dumping as it's happening, please call 911. If you see illegal dumping after the fact, report it to 311. We are serious about catching the people who dump on us because when you dump on us, on one of us, you dump on all of us. Thank you again for, to everyone here today and their efforts to tackle illegal dumping. I'm glad to see that we are making progress on this important issue facing our neighborhoods. Uh, and I want to say that this is just a, a ridiculous problem because it comes from the hands and from the trucks and from the tr trunks 
of people who decide that they want to get rid of their mess by dumping it into somebody's neighborhood. It's terrible. I also want to take the opportunity to thank our sanitation workers because they don't get as much credit as they deserve for the work that they do. Um, and um, our neighborhood, our neighborhoods would be much worse if it were for them. Uh, and they are the, 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 the lifeline that we need to keep this, keep our neighborhoods clean. And we need to lock some people up. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor. What was it, about two, couple weeks ago we came out here to this location? Three weeks. About three weeks ago, Council President Clark said, hey, Commissioner, I need you to take a ride with me. I want to show you some of the challenges that our black captains and our community residents are facing in the city. And when he came out, we came out to this location, we immediately cleaned it up. And two days later, unfortunately, we were still faced with the mess that you see behind us today. So Council President Clark, uh, certainly made this a priority to say we need to do more than just keep cleaning this mess up. I know that you know you guys are working hard to try to get it resolved but it continues to happen and unfortunately the residents are not getting any reprieve from this type of behavior. So we need to make an investment in cameras and we need to catch these people and we certainly need to hold them accountable. And here with us today is our president, Council President Clark, who's here to talk more about this initiative and the importance it has in our neighborhoods and our community. Thanks, Thanks, Carlton. Yep. Thanks, Carlton. I'm glad you cleared that up. I'm not the president, not that guy, uh, <laughs> council president. Um, uh, good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I just want to thank the administration, the mayor, and all of, all of the folks involved in this, our streets commissioner, the guys that do all the work. I want to thank all of you so much for this. So as, as Carlton was saying, we were out here two, three weeks ago, and we were talking to the residents, and they were excited to see us here. Here we are three weeks later right the same mess this is ridiculous right these people that are dumping this stuff in our neighborhood they get paid to dispose of it we actually contract with some people from the city of philadelphia and unfortunately they probably dump some of this there is no excuse to do this other than the disrespect that they're showing for our community so i'm excited uh, my colleague councilwoman sanchez uh i think councilwoman your district is on the other side of the street yeah, other side of the street, and we've been wrestling with this issue, so I'm, I'm happy to be able to be here today as we talk to the residents in these neighborhoods. At a community last week, the issue came up about short dumping. I'm excited that we're doing this for years. Uh, the police department have been using pole cameras to deal with crime, drug sales, and all of those types of things, but today, uh, in this neighborhood, this is just important. So I want to say how excited I am to thank everyone involved. It's time sending a signal. Um, Mayor, did you say lock them up? Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up, up, right? Lock them up, right? Uh, I'm not uh, Mike Flynn, but uh, lock them up. No, seriously, folks, this is a real deal. And I'm, I'm, you know, it's time for us to stop allowing these folks to do this in our neighborhoods. It's time to lock them up, all right? Carl, you want me to introduce her? Thank you. Thank you, Council President Clark. We certainly appreciate it, and we appreciate your support. Uh, there will be an additional cameras installed like this in other areas of the city of Philadelphia to be able to uh, address this type of behavior. As mentioned earlier, uh, she's been instrumental in helping us with tire legislation, which is another big problem. Each year we move, we move tons and tons and thousands of tires off the streets of Philadelphia that's supposed to be recycled uh, through a processor. Unfortunately, they end up on our streets and our roadways. They end up in our parks and recreation centers and on, in our corners. With us today to talk more about it and her support for our legal dumper efforts is Councilwoman Maria Quiones Sanchez. Right. Thank you. So we are watching you and we're going to lock you up, right, Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. We are watching you. This is, uh, I want to thank the mayor uh, and the administration and particularly the streets commissioner and all the team. Uh, as council president, we, we invite them to come out with us all the time because every time we go somewhere, illegal dumping, short dumping is one of the issues and the streets department always is there with us and we appreciate their work. But legislating this is one, one angle of it. Allowing people to think that they can come into neighborhoods, working neighborhoods like this one, and dumping is something that we take personal. I grew up in this neighborhood. In fact, my grandmom is a couple blocks away. And I can tell you that the people who live in Nice Town Hunting Park are prideful, they're homeowners, and they don't deserve this. And that's why it is our job in government to facilitate and improve their quality of life. But we need to do this together. So we are watching you. And we're going to take your cars. 
Thank you. All right. Thank you, Councilwoman. This is truly a partnership amongst a number of departments. The mayor mentioned the police department, certainly uh, the Office of, Office of Information Technology. I certainly want to acknowledge them as well. Uh, without their support and without their work and efforts in helping us get these cameras installed, uh, we wouldn't be able to be here today to be able to try to address this issue. But coordinating all of these efforts uh, happens at the top. And, it, and no better uh, department and agency than the managing director's office who helps coordinate all of these initiatives, who gets us to the table, who starts talking about plans uh, to help us be able to implement programs like this is our MDO's office. And with us today, I'd like to acknowledge our managing director, who's going to say a few words, Mike DeBerdinas. Please come up, Mike, and say a few words on behalf of the department. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm sorry I'm a little late. Um, but I wanted to get up here because I think this work around short dumping is probably some of the most important work the managing director's office does on a daily basis. Early in the administration, the mayor instructed us to form a, a zero waste and litter cabinet, which is headed up by Nick Esposito, who's here with us today, and, repre and with representatives across the government. What we learned is cleaning up is not enough. Going to vacant lots and cleaning them up over and over and over again. Going into neighborhoods where people dispose of industrial waste and construction waste and office waste and even some residential waste, it doesn't work. So we had to get to, uh, to a place where we can reduce the flow of litter and in, uh, create, and we work with City Council very nicely in creating stricter rules and regulations and enforcement, which you've heard about, and then sort of prosecuting folks when we catch them. So we've, we, have a prosecutory, prosecut, we have an investigative unit in the police department now that investigates and charges, which is really important. We have a, a litter index, which we track litter across the city. And we have some, I'm sure you heard about, some very strict rules that if you break them, you pay. And you may lose your vehicle, you may lose your business. So we're very serious about this. We want to work across the city in every neighborhood, particularly in the ones, though, that have this problem of short dumping. Today's cameras are another step in the direction of bringing down uh, litter and waste in the city and overall reducing our waste stream. So we're really proud of this work. We feel part of it in the MDO's office and look forward to um, cleaning up neighborhoods like this and keeping them clean in the future. Thank you. We talked about the first half of just catching people. The next part is the second half, which is making sure that we prosecute them. And working with our department, uh, like never before, has been the police department who's done an outstanding job, not only helping us to identify and install the cameras, but actually coming up with a process to be able to streamline uh, enforcing the laws and prosecuting the illegal dumpers. And with us today, I'd just like to acknowledge our, our police officers who will come up and say a few words uh, to talk about our relationship that he's worked through. Again, Nick Esposito talked earlier. We talked earlier about the work that they've done in the uh, Zero Waste and Litter Cabinet, who helped us to create the process and actually formulate it where we're now taking this evidence, turning it over to the police, and then the prosecution begins. And, and they can get fined, serious, no, serious fines up to $5,000, confiscation of a vehicle, as Councilwoman Sanchez said earlier. Uh, we have to get tough on crime. We have to make the cost of doing business much more expensive than them coming, dumping here. So we have to make sure that we enforce it. And our police department is here today to make sure that they help us and support us with that initiative. Come on up. Good afternoon. This is a really big problem. We take it serious. It's not just a fine, it is a misdemeanor. You, you, you will be arrested if you get caught short dumping. No one wants to look out of their business or, or home and see a pile of tires or construction material. That's why this year Commissioner Ross started our, the department's first environmental unit. Some of the officers working that unit are behind me. They use cameras a lot of time to catch short dumpers. They use physical surveillance and they also use tips from the community. So if anyone sees a short dumper, if you can snap a picture or get a good description, call 911, give us that information. We'll, look, we'll run on that right away and we'll try to lock these people up. The, the uh, penalty for short dumping is pretty serious. For a first offense, it's a misdemeanor, like I said, an M2. 
It also carries with it a fine of $500 to $5,000 and community service. That's for the first offense. After conviction, any additional arrests come with a much, much uh, stiffer penalty. It's also a misdemeanor. The uh, fine is $1,000 to $10,000, loss of vehicle, and up to five years in prison. So we're on it. These cameras will, will be a big help. And if you're out there doing it, we're going to catch you eventually, and you'll be arrested and you'll face these fines. Thanks. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Wilson. And last but certainly not least are the people who have to deal with this every day. And we'll hear from our residents, uh, those who have been constantly, tirelessly fighting uh, to keep our neighborhoods clean, have to deal and address these issues. My message to you is that we thank you, first of all, and we're here to support you. And certainly this initiative uh, is certainly here to try to prevent these problems from happening in the first place. Here to talk more about the impacts that illegal dumping has had on their communities is Ms. Brenda Kennedy, who's assistant block captain for the neighborhood on the 3600 block of Percy Street right behind us. I pray to the Lord that we do have a unity here in Philadelphia. Good morning to all, and I thank you for coming so we can know that we're not alone in noticing that these people are trying to take the peace of mind of homeowners and our residents and our children to knowing that Philadelphia is a clean city. All we have to do is work in unity and make sure we are on point when we have to get the pro the procrastinating people that say they care, but they want to put their stuff there. Not in front of their door, in front of our door. And it's, it's, it's good to know that I can wake up every no morning and know that my city council and my city officials and my city police are here because we may be getting older, but we do want to have peace of mind here in Philadelphia. We do want to have peace in our neighborhood that we know that trash is not going to make it. It could be somebody's trash to start a disease. But if we work together to make sure that those people cycle their stuff the way it does or care about the neighborhood they're in, we can get something done. We can tell them, tell them that the city of Philadelphia is about clean and brotherlyhood. Thank you very much, because this has made me really happy. Thank you again, Ms. Kennedy, and we certainly appreciate all of the work of the neighbors. The 3600 block of Percy Street was one of our clean block uh, contestants last year, so we want to acknowledge all of the hard work that you guys have done in the community to continue to fight in this effort. As you stated earlier, we are here with you. We want to support you. Certainly also want to acknowledge my Deputy Commissioner Keith Warren, uh, who heads up the crew uh, that does this. Every year, last year, he cleaned up over 4,000 sites. Uh, in our city like this. Some of them are multiple locations, some larger than others, but that's the magnitude of the work that we're dealing with each and every year. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we spend tens of millions of dollars cleaning up after people. We need to stop it. We're going to stop it. We're going to work hard to catch people. We're going to make an example out of you, uh, whether we have to, once we arrest you, if we can post you and lock you up, put your name all over the paper in the news, we certainly will. So beware. We are going to make sure that we stop this type of behavior. Uh, before I conclude, we would like to, before we actually start cleaning up this mess once again, I'd like to ask if there have any questions before we end. Yes, sir, Bruce. Absolutely. Well, we have real-time monitors that actually look for and try to catch it. In fact, we have, uh, just over the last week or two, we caught four people already that we're turning over to the police department who dumped through areas and locations around the corner. So we do have, just like the police department does, staff monitoring this in real time to try to catch them in the act. If, we, if it happens during an hour where we don't in, we're not in operation and we don't have 24-hour surveillance, we go back after we look at the cameras to see if a, a site has been dumped on and we get that visual evidence and we record it and turn it over to the police department and that's how our, our visual evidence works. Yeah. 
Yes, Rich Martinez, uh, Deputy Commissioner Martinez is here. Uh, he actually spearheaded the effort to uh, install the cameras with OIT, and he could certainly speak a little bit more about that. Rich. So the, the Streets Department's uh, short dumping camera system is an extension of the police system. So we use the same cameras, uh, which are very good quality. They also do not go into day night. We use uh, the latest technology from uh, our manufacturer. Uh, if you look at the quality of the camera, it's great. And we also, where we have areas of uh, problems with the darkness, we are improving the lighting in order to get better pictures. Rich, how many cameras you set up? What's the plan for it? The pla there's currently 10 cameras that are set up, and the plan is to do 100 annually. Behind you. Right over there, right on, on Percy Street, at the corner of Percy Street. Yeah, they are exactly the same cameras. The streets department uses the same camera system as the police department. Both camera systems are also integrated. So the video we get, the police department also gets. So 10 cameras already installed like this one, 100 by the end of 19, that means Yes. And again, you said in the most... There you go, boss. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we work with our police department again. Uh, again, we, we actually caught uh, uh, an illegal dumper a couple of months ago, and he actually went through the entire process. And, and of course, he has to go in front of a judge just like everyone else. But our goal is to make sure that they lock up, get real time, and actually pay for the damage that they've caused for us from cleaning it up, from the dumping there. So it's, it's yes, it's very real. So we are prepared to, as, as mentioned earlier, um, invest in more cameras, but we're also prepared to move them to locations once we have repeated recalls and requests for dumpers. These are our most dumped on sites in the city of Philadelphia, and these are the ones we tried to adjust first. Yeah. Is there any other questions and related? No. Thank you all very much. Keith, you want to send the guys in, and we can start cleaning it up? Appreciate it.